everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my review of Percy Jackson in the Olympians, the last Olympian, um, and as well as my overall series review of Percy Jackson. Um, so I finished the series a little over a month ago when I'm filming this. It was the end of June when I finished um, the entire series. And I, like I said in all my other reviews of all the other books, which I'll link in the description box below, um, I really enjoyed the entire series. I really, I really enjoyed it as much. When I went into the series, I did not expect to like it as much as I did, because um, the characters were a lot younger than I was when I started reading it. You know, when the, in the Lightning Thief, Percy is only twelve. I was eighteen, so uh, I didn't expect to like it. I thought I would read. You know, when I was reading it, I thought I would, you know, connect more to younger people, but it didn't. It connected to me, which I'm 19 now, um, and I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, you know, there was so many, so much action in the series. It was just phenomenal. Uh, when I got to The Last Olympian, uh, I thought it was just perfect, as much as all the other books were, because they're just fabulous. And, uh, The Last Olympian did read a little bit slower to me, but not as much as all the other books. So it wasn't, it was a little bit slow for me, but it still had that action that I really enjoyed, um, which was an aspect throughout all, all the books. So I ended up giving it just a tiny bit of a lower rating than I did the other books. I gave all the other books 5 out of 5 stars. This one I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. Just because it was just a little bit slow for me at times, but that's just because that's the way I am. But um, as far as the aspects of this book, I really liked. I really liked the action, like I explained before. So many battle scenes, so just written perfectly. Um, it's just an aspect of Rick Riordan's book that just leaves me on the edge of my seat the entire time I'm reading them. And I've read, I've read all Percy Jackson books, and I've read one of his other books, which is the first book in the King Chronicles, I believe, which is The Red Pyramid, I think that's what it's called. I read that four years ago, four or five years ago, um, and I want to read it again because I want to read more of his books, but I'll explain that later. Um, and uh, another aspect I really liked and is an aspect everybody talks about, everybody I know who has read this series talks about the romance between Percy and Annabeth, and I was, I didn't believe it would become a thing at the end of the series, I have to admit, but I was glad they did end up together throughout the last three books, the, from the Titan's Curse, the Battle of the Labyrinth, and the last month, and I'm like, are they gonna end up together or not? I'm like, I want, I'm like, when are they gonna end up together? Ah! I'm like, and they finally did the end of the last thing the end, so I was like, yes! Um... And, you know, one of the scenes I really, really liked, and I think it was my favorite scene throughout the entire book, was one of the last scenes in the book, and it was when, um, Percy, Annabeth, and I think the girl was there, again, I read this a while ago, so I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but when Annabeth is talking to Kronos slash Luke, um, and she's able to reach that one part of Kronos that ha still happens to be Luke, um, and they have this special interaction between these two characters, I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't see that coming at all. Um, and unfortunately, you know, Luke does end up dying. But that one moment between those two characters I thought was extremely, extremely powerful. Just, you can reach that one part of a person who may seem bad, but he is good on the inside. I was just like, that scene almost brought me to tears, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so, again, overall, I really did enjoy this book. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, and I saw, as far as my thoughts on the series as a whole, I really did enjoy this series. It's much, much more than I thought I was going to enjoy it. Um, just because, you know, the characters are younger than I was, like I said. And, um, you know, there's just something about this series that's just, like, pulls you in from the very beginning. I know with the Lightning Thief, that happened to me and I had reread the Rotten Thief. Um, this was I think my second or third time rereading the series because I did read the Lightning Thief back in I think sixth grade 
um, around the same time the movie came out. And I have seen the movies for the Light Me Days and the Sea Monsters. And I actually did enjoy them. You know, they're not the best movies, but I did enjoy them. Maybe because I, <laughs> I saw the movies before I read the books, but I did enjoy them. I really liked the Sea Monsters movie. I thought that was really, really good. Um, and, you know, when the... <laughs> Rereading the lightning theme, I'm like, this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. It's just, and then the scene monsters got even better and better and better as when the series go on. I will be re, um, I will be reading the uh, Heroes of Olympus series probably next month in August. So be on the lookout for the, my reviews of that once I actually start reading them because I have a million books to read on my TBR right now. But I will be re reading re I will be reading the Heroes of Olympus, um, and I will be reading the um, Trials of Apollo, the first book in that series. I will be reading that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button in the description box below. And if you guys have any comments about this video, if you have read this series, please feel free to comment down below, and I'll be happy to respond. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Again, I'll be happy to respond to anything you guys may want to know about me or any of the reviews I did. Or if you guys have books I should read for suggestions, I'll be happy to read them. So um, just leave it in the comments, the comments down below and I'll be happy to respond. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you very, very soon for my next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!